Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pat Pace Performance. Today is like homeowner upgrade edition per se. Um, if you guys know, actually this is, this came from Lowe's. Not sponsored, but we like Lowe's. So if you guys know, we have a um, smart home, right? We are heavily vested in the Nest system. We have the Google Hub. Hey Google, what's the temperature? In Greenlawn, it's currently 31. Hey it's Google, currently... show me the driveway. Okay, streaming driveway. See, so we're a very smart home. So we used to have, well we used to, we have smart outlets. When we upgraded to the Eero system, um, we lost our smart capabilities with the outlets because they needed to be upgraded to a mesh Wi-Fi system. So I made a couple phone calls. Hopefully these are the real deal. And uh, we'll get these installed and uh, hopefully they work. Because if they don't, I'm screwed. If they do, I'm screwed either way because I have to spend about 600 bucks in uh, smart outlets and switches to uh, get to where we were before. <coughs> yeah, I'm choking on that price too. I have to spend about $600 to get where we were uh, before we lost everything. All right, so it's getting dark out, but we have to get this done because eBay has a sale. So anyway, I cut my circuit breaker off. That's why there's no light. I'm using your typical multi-screwdriver, multi-tip tool screwdriver that you could actually, I think these are given away for free at Harbor Freight my wife got. So it doesn't matter. Uh, they're great for what they are. So these are really the only tools that you need. And... Usually you need electrical tape, but these outlets are set up a little bit different than the normal. So electrical tape really isn't needed. And I'll show you why compared to my existing outlets that we had beforehand. I'm just taking these off. screws just set them aside pop off the cover plate okay then you expose the switch we're going to need to replace which is this one right here so it's just your Phillips I'm just going to undo that and loose. Once you know it's loose, you know you are free. And like I said, on traditional outlets or even this style that we have that was smart, the electrical tape, right, watch when I unveil this, covers up these nuts that hold down the wires. So the cool part is, These are wired. It's labeled for you already. Can you see that? They're labeled. Ground, live load, neutral. We're good to go. So let's, all we have to do is match. So neutral is white. Take this off. Alright, one by one. Nice and easy. Don't be a hero. Stick them together like so. Alright, take our nut. And tie them in. Make sure no wire is exposed. Let's move on to the next one. On the other side, we are looking for load. So 
So let's look for load. Okay, so live and load are the same. So we're just going to take block to block. Oh, that's too much. Black to black. And then we have our other line, which is our other live load. And then I'm comfortable with taking those out, and we're going to take our ground out. Our ground is the bare wire. Man, I'm just trying to see if I can get you guys a good... Angle person. Like I said, it's our bare wire, which is ground. Okay. And this is our other live load. Okay, and as we see here, white is labeled neutral. And black is ground. I mean, I'm sorry. The two blacks are lives considered on this. And then our bare wire, which is going to go to the green one, that's ground. So we will put these two together. so goddamn dark early it's not even funny my hand is blocking this but same thing put the wires together and twist and that's that and then you will just shove these back in there Shove these enough in so our switch and fit. We'll get the first one. Tightening these, right? I just like to leave 
it a little loose and then we can make our adjustments once we put the switch in because we want the switch plate to still you know mount flush and if you make it tight you can't do that All right, so I'm gonna go turn on power, and uh, we'll see if we got we could turn on on and off manually, and then from there we'll program it in. Okay, as you guys can see, we are well lit again. Let's program this sucker in. Now if you guys can see, Wi-Fi and it's searching for a signal. Alright, so on the box, it says step one, you have to go to Casa Smart. K-A-S-A. -S Casa Smart. See, it's already there. Yep, right here. Click that. Install. Now I'm also updating, so it shouldn't take long. We have really good Wi-Fi in this house. See that? Flying through. And that's because we upgraded to the Eero system. Boom. Open. Sure, because we have no idea what we're doing. Okay, we're going to have to create a new account, which I'm going to do. Alright, so I got email verified. So... Let's see, we're going to go to the Add button. Let's see if it could add a device. So we are using a smart switch. This is the HS200. We don't need a dimmer. Yeah. Yep. It's making orange and green. Perfect. Join your smart switch's Wi-Fi network. Here we are, right there. If you guys see, if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, you should. Pat Tay's performance. As you see, we are a full-service channel. We found the Wi-Fi network. Yep, so we need this one here. I'm going to put my password in. Okay, passwords in. So we can see if we could establish a connection. It's going to take a few minutes. So this is going to be front door. Choose an icon. Hmm. Okay. That's weird. I don't know. We'll go with this one. We could always change it. Let's see. Alright, so it's ready to use. Ah, so we have to update our firmware. So let's update now. Another few minutes. You know, I forgot to check our Eero system just to see, you know, for... Because I'll show you what Eros does. It's really, really cool. If you guys have a lot of Wi-Fi devices... It might take a few minutes for your device to restart. Okay. So while it's restarting, right? This is our Eros. Alright, so you have 19 devices detected. 
and our each S20. So we're going to do the entryway. <coughs> Excuse me, it has five nice devices connected. See, and already linked it to this one because this is the closest one. These are our speeds, 223 and 35. We have superior Wi-Fi connection. So anyway, now let's go to the app. Let's see, front door light. I think I know what the problem is. All right, so here we are outside, as you guys can see. The lights are on. Let's go to Casa, front door light. Off. On. Now let's put this on a timer, which kind of nullifies, right, having a smart switch. Because <laughs> you could turn it on and off. But let's just say, turn my smart switch on after hours of, what time does it <gasps> I feel like it starts getting dark. What time is it? Five o'clock? Oh no, we know we actually probably need a schedule. You can. Alright, so let's we are going to turn on power. Starting at it's dark now, so let's do let's be early, All right? We'll start it at five o'clock. I could check my cameras to see when it starts getting dark, okay? On, and then we want to turn off power. We start getting ready for. Actually, we'll do 7 o'clock a.m. Save. Now, I wonder if Google, because then we could tell the Google to turn on and off front. Wait, Google, Google. You could tell how much we don't utilize Google, but... We usually talk to Google a lot. We don't um, we don't use the Google app. We talk to the hubs around the house. So connect to TP Link. Right, so it's asking for an email and password. Okay, so let's see. Yep, we're in. Choose all. Uh -huh. Our home. What device is this? Hmm. Where is this device? Front yard. These are all our other stuff. Where do we have this? Okay, so it's probably customer name front door white. Right, nice and easy. So here's the cool thing, right? This is why we use it. Hey Google, turn off front door light. Sorry, it looks like the front door light isn't available right now. Hey. That's that's on. Hey Google, turn off front door light. Sorry, it looks like the front door light isn't available right now. Hmm. You know, it's funny, it's popping up here. On. Off. Alright, so see all this stuff on? 
Oh, you want to see? It's reading the two. So we need to delete these, remember? These are from the old ones. So how, we have to delete these. That's why, because it's coming up with two front door lights. Okay, so we're going to have to unlink these. We really need to de delete these. No, how do we delete these? All right, so maybe now, hey Google, turn on front door light. Okay, turning front door light on. Yeah, that's the problem. Hey Google, turn off front door light. Sure, turning off front door light. Okay. Hey Google, turn on front door light. Yeah! Hey Google, turn off front door light! Hey Google, turn on front door light! Cool. So just a, a brief overview of with Google, right? You could be anywhere. And it can use the commands or watch this. Turn on the lights. Off. On. Or watch this. Hey Google, turn off front door light. Okay, turning off okay, front, door front door light. Off. Hey Google, turn on front door light. Okay, turning front door light on. Hey Google, show me driveway. Sure, streaming driveway. Can you show me? Hey Google, show me driveway. Sure, streaming sure, driveway. streaming driveway. See, you can pull up on our phone right away, and even here on the hub. All right, guys, so uh, eBay has a coupon out, right? I am going to order these, because now I know that they work with our mesh Wi-Fi smart network, so I will get on that and take care of that. Um, I will do another video on this as well. should be pretty straightforward. But if you guys found this video helpful, smash the like button, smash that subscribe button, and guess what? I'll see you guys on the next episode of Pat Taste Performance, Homeowner's Edition. Later.